Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so this is kind of a last minute thing. Um, I decided to start documenting this last minute. That's why I have parts everywhere. I've already started tearing apart this uh, bike, but <clears throat> my first enduro, my first adventure bike. Um, I'm looking into doing some adventure riding. Uh, my stepdad just bought a bike. My mom just bought a bike. Uh, we're fixing to start going on some trail rides and stuff like that. Just trying to get into the whole scene. So uh, what I have here is a 2000 KLR 650. Uh, I did tons of research on bikes. And from what I understand, the KLR 650 is kind of the best all-around versatile bike for street and dirt. Um, yeah, it's kind of exciting. Um, so I picked the bike up for $1,300. Um, it's a little rough, but it runs. Uh, so the story with it was it sat for about 10 years. And uh, <clears throat> the guy pulled out of storage, put a battery in it, and it fired right up. Started running. It runs rough. It's got old gas in it. Um, I rode it long enough just to test drive it. Um, upon driving it, I figured a couple things that was wrong with it immediately, apart from the cosmetic stuff, which I'll explain here shortly. Uh, first of all, obviously with the bad gas, it didn't idle right. Um, it kind of sounded, it just sounded rough. You know how it is. Uh, but the exhaust is, is what I noticed first. It's, it's super, super loud. And upon further inspection, I realized dude apparently tried to make it louder tried to drill or cut the baffles out of the exhaust and he also drilled some holes in it i don't know it's stupid i'm gonna have to replace that uh the second thing i noticed it has no rear brakes um i thought mm, you know something's up with that but i got down and looking it's missing one of the brake pads there should be a brake pad on this side so i got a new set of brake pads coming um after walking around the bike and seeing some of the cosmetic stuff that's kind of rough front tires dry rotted that's going to be need to be replaced the uh, handlebars are a little tweaked the clutch needs a little adjustment i don't know if it's the actual clutch or or if it's just the uh i don't know something in the adjustment it feels feels pretty good but you got to pull it all the way in for it to for it to want to grab right so i have to figure that out too um i started tearing it down just so i could clean it up uh it's it's kind of rough man i mean it's dirty it's dinged it's scratched it's beat up but uh but hey man you can't kill these things apparently um first kind of project apart from tearing it down and cleaning it up is they uh they put all this kind of this real tree like tape stuff i don't know if it was a graphics kit or if it's actually just some tape or something i've seen the tape at stores so that's coming off getting rid of all that um somebody tried to paint the fenders um this i'm guessing is the original color and they painted this almost blue over top of it or i don't know it looks rough i'm gonna sand those all down and kind of paint them still kind of coming up with a color scheme for it um so that i don't know that's just kind of on the list uh list of things to do i don't know it's exciting um i've been riding dirt bikes and stuff since i was six years old you know i'm 32 now i've ridden street bikes and everything and and i've just always I've always loved bikes, so this whole adventure riding and stuff like that is is new for me. Um, apart from trail riding as a kid, so yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Uh, I think it's going to be neat. Um, I decided to document this last minute. This video, first video, is kind of rough. I apologize. Hopefully, they'll get a little better. I do have a little better camera, apart from just what I'm using on my phone. But yeah, I figured it'd be kind of neat to to. Uh, Put it out there and, and maybe some of you guys if anybody watches this maybe uh give me some suggestions on parts i've been doing tons of research on uh different websites that sell parts and stuff like that so i don't know maybe there's a cool mod or something you know about uh there's lots of little things i gotta do to anyways i need to buy new bolts fairings were all put together by different screws and bolts uh this reservoir here don't even have bolts in it at all you know it's it's kind of rough, but you know what? It's 1300 bucks. It runs. It doesn't have a pile of miles on it. 12,000 miles. All the lights and blinkers work. They were the rubber was dry rotted, so they're broken. Um the front ones were, the back ones are okay. But I ordered went ahead and ordered new blinkers cuz uh, as I get it cleaned up, start putting together, I'm just going to make small purchases and stuff like that as as money comes in and I can afford to spend it, but but yeah, uh tell me what you guys think, you know? It's the start of my adventure riding adventure
um, yeah, stay tuned. There'll be new videos and stuff coming out, new updates. I'll get some more work done this week on it, and I'll maybe post another update video. So, all right, thanks, guys.